guys, it's Danica and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how I made this delicious vegan Christmas meal. We have everything from main dish to also sides. I have, of course, Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes and this delicious and easy to make cranberry sauce. For main dish, I have my version of a vegetarian meat pie. It is really traditional for a Christmas meal here in Canada, especially where I live. I'm a French Canadian and this is a really traditional French Canadian dish. We call it a pâté or a tourtière. I'll show you how I made my version of it. It is really, really good and I'm sure you'll love it. So if you wanna see that, then just keep on watching. Starting with sides, I'm going to show you how I made these perfect mashed potatoes. To start, peel your potatoes. I peeled about 8 potatoes for this recipe. Then cut them into cubes. Make sure to wash your potatoes very well before adding them to a pot of water. Transfer your pot of potatoes to a stove on high heat to boil. When it's boiling, you can reduce the heat to medium high and cook the potatoes for about 25 to 30 minutes or until they're soft enough to be poked with a fork. Now you can remove it from the heat and drain the excess water. While your potatoes are still warm, you want to add about a tablespoon of vegan butter. And also about two tablespoons of non-dairy milk. Mash them until they are smooth. For seasoning, I like to add a generous amount of garlic powder and also cut up some green onions in there for some extra flavor. Mash them again to combine everything. You can then transfer your potatoes to a serving bowl and they are ready to serve. I think mashed potatoes are a great side to any Christmas dish and they are so easy to veganize. For this next side, we're going to be making some roasted Brussels sprouts. To a non-stick pan, add your Brussels sprouts. I added frozen Brussels sprouts, but you can also opt for some fresh ones. I just had some frozen ones on hand and I thought they were really handy and also really delicious so I went with that. Add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Make sure to coat all of your Brussels sprouts in olive oil before adding about 2 cloves of garlic. The garlic adds such a nice flavor to the Brussels sprouts and I really recommend that you try it. For seasoning, I just added some salt and pepper. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit before adding your Brussels sprouts. Roast in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Halfway through the cooking, you'll want to flip your Brussels sprouts to cook evenly. Once your Brussels sprouts are done and out of the oven, they should be this beautiful brownish color on the outside and that means they are really well roasted. Next up, I'll show you how to make this delicious but so easy cranberry sauce. To a pot, add a cup of water and a cup of sugar and mix well to combine. Make sure that the sugar is well dissolved and bring to a boil. Then add 3 cups of frozen cranberries and bring that to a boil. Then you can lower the heat and let it cook for about 10 minutes until the cranberries burst and become this sauce. The cranberry sauce will continue to thicken as it cools and as you can see it forms this really thick sauce. Homemade cranberry sauce is such a holiday staple and it's so easy to make, it only takes about 15 minutes. It is a classic that everyone can enjoy with their Christmas meal. Last but not least, we're going to be making our main dish, which is a vegan meatless pie. The filling is basically a bunch of veggies and chickpeas. The veggies that I included are a pack of mushrooms, one onion, celery, 
three cloves of garlic, and a carrot. Chop everything into small pieces and set aside. Then to a food processor, add a can of chickpeas. Chopped chickpeas will really resemble the texture of meat in this recipe. Gently pulse the chickpeas into the food processor until they are coarsely chopped. Then to a pan on medium high, add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Add your garlic, carrots, celery, and onions and cook them until they are softened. Add a bit of vegetable bouillon to add a bit more flavor and soften everything. Now you can go ahead and add your mushrooms and cook for an additional 5 minutes. To season, add half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then stir to combine. Add your chopped chickpeas, stir very well, and cook for an additional 2 minutes. Now that the filling is done, you can see that it really looks like a meat mixture. You're now ready to assemble your meatless meat pie. I used the store-bought crust for this, but you could also make your own. Poke some holes in the bottom of your crust before adding in your filling. Doing this will allow the steam to escape while the pie will be cooking. Cover the pie with more dough and don't forget to poke some holes in that one too to allow the steam to go through. Pinch the edges with your fingers to seal. In the oven on the bottom rack, cook the pie at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 55 minutes. When it's done, allow it to cool before serving. I served it with all the sides that we made earlier. And this is how you make the perfect vegan Christmas dinner. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every week. And also give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to see ideas for some desserts to go with that meal, I made that video last week, so I'll just link it right here. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!